Hey everybody, DeLongshot Signatures here. This is episode 14 of my 2021 TTM Returns. This is uh, my second take of trying to do this because the first time my cats decided that they would start fighting. So, got a lot of returns to share with you guys. Uh, so we'll get started here with two racing returns. First one, I got some unsigned hero cards at the beginning of the season from an IndyCar team. Um, I didn't realize the season was starting a lot later than usual, so... Sent them back and got a two of two return from former uh, driver and team owner Bobby Rahal. So I got this one where he is featured on it, and then this one with all three owners, um, only signed by Bobby. I have seen at least one or two returns where people were able to get all three owners, but with COVID and everything, I don't know if they've actually like all been together at the same time to just to you know sign photos and everything. Um, so maybe I'll send back to the team. I'm not 100% sure yet to uh, get the other two, but that would be really cool to have. Next one is a 4 of 4 return on some 90s racing cards. These are coming back from former NASCAR crew chief Ken Wilson. So got him on the 92 Trex, 94 finish line racing silver, and then both of his 94 max cards so pretty quick return there i think that was only about two or three weeks um next we'll go to baseball i'll share the players first first one here is a one of one return from a former mlb pitcher and i want to say 1970 nl cy young award winner uh jim perry i believe he is related to gaylord perry really glad to have that one that one was a uh five dollar uh fee included next one is a four of two return is how i'm going to count it um so this guy does charge five dollars as well so i sent ten dollars with this request uh, included a couple extras on the way back uh, this guy is a fantastic ttm signer very much well worth it so this is a four of two return from the original one frank thomas signed both of these photos that I sent him, three-time All-Star. He included this Diamond Signatures card of his own. And then he sends out a typed letter detailing um, the photos, the, the commemorative photos that he sells um, that go to charity. And then he wrote a pretty long uh, message on the letter. He seems to do that quite often. Um, I couldn't read it necessarily like all the way through. I don't know exactly what it says, but you know, it talks a little bit about the photos and, you know, some moments in history and, you know, glad to be part of the collection and everything. So just a really, really cool return there. Um, 92 years old. So definitely worth sending to next one is going to transition the baseball to the hockey returns. Cause this guy has been part of both. This guy is a fantastic, uh, sportscaster. Um, involved in both sports and probably, you know, a few other things. I think he's even involved in WWE. But a 2 of 2 return from Mr. Gary Thorne. I re remember him best for hockey, uh, mainly because of the NHL video games that I played growing up. It was always him, uh, Gary Thorne and Bill Clement doing the broadcasts in the game. So really, really cool because uh, I got Bill Clement a few years ago. So it's nice to have that. Uh, that announcement duo together in the collection. So transitioning fully into hockey, we got two returns there. First one here is an NHL draft prospect return. This is coming back from a goaltender for the Spokane Chiefs, Mason Bopit, two of two. So I kind of just looked at a list of um, you know who the top prospects were. And got a few photos printed off. I'm going to be doing a couple more um, sets of those photos to send out, hopefully, before the season wraps up. But first one for this year. Really glad to get that bag, and we'll, we'll see how far that goes. Next one is from a NHL head coach. So this is a 2 of 2 return. I sent out to all the ones that I didn't have um, two months ago. and. Uh, a couple of them have started coming back, so maybe I'll get some more here soon. 
but a 2 of 2 return from the Montreal Canadiens head coach Dominique Ducharme. He took over last season after the team fired Claude Julien and took the Canadians all the way to the Stanley Cup final. They didn't win, but um, you know, very very fun run to watch there. Um, they got their first win tonight on, on the season. It's a very different team, so I don't necessarily blame him for the uh, you know tough skid that they've been on. So we'll see how he does going forward. Next is a college basketball return. Um, saw a lot of people getting this guy back. I believe he's a former NBA player as well. And uh, he won the NCAA Division I championship as the coach in 2018-19, I believe. So this is a 2 of 2 return from Virginia head coach Tony Bennett. So since I saw a bunch of people getting him back and I've been sending to some uh, college basketball coaches recently, I figured this would be another, another good one to add. So like I said, he signed both. It's kind of hard to tell here, but it looks like he originally signed it in black and then followed it up by signing it in silver. Now we have four uh, college football head coaches to share. A couple of these guys are from the lower divisions, so they may not be, you know, big names, but I'll explain why I sent to them. So first one here is coming back from the West Florida head coach, three of two return, Pete Shinnick. He, I'm going to have a tough time remembering which divisions they're all in, but he has won a national championship as a college football head coach, just not a uh, Division I FBS championship, anything like that. But he has signed both of the photos and then included this uh, nice little greeting card, which he signed as well. Going along that same vein, we got another 3 of 2 return here from the head coach for Georgetown in Kentucky, Bill Cronin, who has also won some national championships so signed both of those photos in gold included a short note and a greeting card and then signed that one as coach cronin these guys also have been coaching for quite a while so they have some pretty impressive records none of which are more impressive than this guy this is the uh all-time lit uh all-time wins leader for people who are living um, currently in college football. Uh, after Bobby Bowden passed, this guy became the all-time winningest living head coach. This is Kevin Donnelly, 2 of 2 from St. Francis here in Indiana. Signed both of those. He's been coaching a long, long time. Uh, he still has a ways to go to catch up to Bowden or uh, Paterno or Gagliardi at this point. But um, still really, really cool to get that one back. Definitely awesome piece to have. This last one here is from a guy who is now retired. He is in the College Football Hall of Fame and probably has one of the most impressive um, careers in college football history. Uh, All-time leader in winning percentage. It was like a 93.3. Uh, his teams had uh, 55 consecutive wins the most unbeaten seasons, and they basically, it was either championship or bust each year because they would make it every year. Um, but 11 national titles in the Division Three level. This is uh, coming back two of two from Larry Karras from Mountain Union. This was sent to a home address. Someone on Star Tiger shared it. Uh, so very thankful that they did. He was uh, then the athletic director for Mountain Union, but has since left. His son took over the team. He's since left. But, uh, like, one of the most dominant, you know, football programs of all time. So really, really, really glad to have that one. Sticking with the college football theme, we have two final returns here uh, from a former player and a current player. This one is going to be the former. This one's really cool. Um, a two of two return from former Heisman winning quarterback, Terry Baker. And, uh, I watched, I think I watched the full season of Eli's places on ESPN plus while I was on vacation and his go, uh, Eli Manning goes through and talks a lot about college football history. 
and he spoke about Terry Baker during that and how um, Baker won the Heisman and was like the first one to win it by campaigning for it. So really, really cool to add him to the collection. Last one here is from a current college football player. He is a freshman backup quarterback at the University of Oregon. So I believe that's the third Oregon quarterback, active quarterback that I've been able to add to the collection over the past few years. So this is a three of two return from Jay Butterfield. He, um, he had one appearance this season and threw for 22 yards. Like I said, he is a freshman, second year freshman. Not sure if he redshirted or used his uh, COVID eligibility for an extra year. But um, signed both of the photos and then signed a uh, handwritten letter. So really, really glad to get those back. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.